Hello guys, today I want to tell you about a new feature that appeared in Laravel 8. For those of you who have older projects, migrated probably to Laravel 8 and having a lot of migration files. And there is a command called squashing migrations, which exports all of the migrations into one SQL file. And why would you need that? Two reasons. First reason, probably you have too many files and it just generally isn't really beautiful for you and it's hard to find something or performance stuff. So whenever you migrate the new fresh database on some new computer or testing server, it just takes too long with migrations like 30 seconds or minutes. And probably the most typical use case of performance issue is running automated tests and refreshing database on each test, which takes a lot of time and then your whole test suite runs too long. But even if you don't have automated tests, it's a cool command to know. It's called schema dump. Let's test it out together. I've taken one of our demo projects for a quick admin panel. It's actually irrelevant what that project does. What's relevant is it has some migrations here on the left and I've migrated them to my database. So here I have some tables, including migrations. So 27 migrations, it's totally not a lot, but let's see how schema dump works. All we need to do is run artisan schema dump. It throws a few warnings and errors related to my MySQL dump version, but it actually was successful. So database schema dumped successfully and where it lands is in the folder database schema, a new folder. Now you have MySQL schema SQL. It's your current database exported in SQL format like this. So how you can use that, you can send that SQL to someone just to have the structure even without Laravel. So you would have the database structure. But a more typical example is actually running MySQL schema dump with dash dash prune. What it does, it dumped successfully the database, but also migrations pruned. And now if you see your folder database, there is no migrations folder. They are gone. And that's probably scary. But the whole point of that is that migrations would first run from database schema SQL and then migrations on top. So your database isn't gone anywhere. So if you try to reload that database, for example, if we run artisan migrate now, it would say nothing to migrate because there's no new migration in database migrations folder. But if we are deleting all the database, for example, delete all the tables. So database is empty now and we run artisan migrate. See what happens. Loading stored database schema from SQL and then nothing to migrate. And let's refresh the database. The database is here again, including the migrations. So that SQL schema saves the migration history as well. And from here, you can create a new migration. PHP artisan, make migration, create a books table. It has books table as a new migration here. And let's migrate that as it is. PHP artisan migrate, and it will migrate only that one migration. So in your migrations database, it will come as a new batch. So batch two with just books table. So you can consider that schema dump thing as a fresh start, wiping your current database migrations folder and starting new migrations again. How does it work? Under the hood, there is a console command schema dump which under the hood for MySQL uses MySQL schema state with running MySQL dump with quite a lot of parameters. So user and password comes from your ENV file and it just dumps the database with MySQL dump. But it supports not only MySQL, it supports Microsoft SQL Server as well and PostgreSQL. It doesn't support SQLite, however. You can read more about squashing migrations or not exactly more, but it's the same thing in official Laravel documentation. I will link in the description below. Important notice here, as it is said in the documentation, you should commit your database schema file. So that SQL file should be part of the repository so your colleagues would clone it down, pull it down and have it locally because if you don't have that SQL file, your migrations will be lost. So commit that to the repository. And that's it. If you want to get more videos like this one on Laravel and related topics, subscribe to the channel and you can support this channel financially. So support future video productions by using our quick admin panel, Laravel quick admin panel generator or enrolling in one of my courses about Laravel and related topics at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.